Dr. Zakir, is it a sunnah to wear the head covering, wear the cap? Um, because we do see a number of people, particularly those people who have returned from Gulf countries and such like, Hajj, etc., that deliberately remove their cap um, whilst they're praying. Is there any basis for this at all? As far as the first part of the question is concerned, that is it a sunnah? Is it mustab to cover one's head? There are various hadith which say that Prophet Muhammad his head was always covered, whether with a cap, with a turban, whether with a helmet, and even the head of the sahabas were covered. It's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of Hajj, hadith number 3148. It says that when Muhammad addressed the people on the day of the victory of Makkah, he was wearing a black turban. So there are many hadith saying that Muhammad covered the head. Further, according to a hadith which is narrated by Ibn Umar, it says that Muhammad wore a white cap. It's narrated by Ibn Umar. And according to Tabarani, he has rated this as Hassan hadith. It's one of the categories of Sai, Hassan. And according to Imam Suyuti, it says it is a highly authentic hadith. He says in his book, Sirajul Bini, volume number four, page number 112, where he says that this is a highly authentic hadith that Muhammad was wearing a white cap. The Arabic word is kufi for a cap. In India, we say topi. It is authentic. And there are other hadith saying that the Sahaba also covered the head. A similar hadith is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number seven, in the book of dress. Hadith number 5802 says that Anas bin Malik, may life peace with him, he covered his head. He wore a cap. So based on all these hadith, almost all, it's a unanimous agreement among the scholars, the ijma of the scholars, that covering the head is mustahab. It is the sunnah of the Prophet. It is mustahab, it's encouraged. All, all the four schools of thought, the Hanifi, the Shafi, the Malaki, the Hanbali, all four schools of thought and all the four ahimmas, they agree that covering the head is mustahab. And when you pray, while praying also, it's mustahab to cover the head. It's mustahab. And if you pray bareheaded, it's makru. The reason that why people, when they come back from the Gulf countries, or when they come from Hajj, they normally, even in India, previously a few years back, maybe 10, 15 years back, the people when they paid in the mosque, 99% or 99.9%, .9 whenever any man prayed in the mosque, he had his head covered, maybe 20 years back. But now we find that 25%, one fourth or one third of the people, they pray their salah bareheaded. The reason is that previously it was known that it was mustab to cover the head. So even when they didn't cover the head normally, at least while offering salah, they used to cover the head. Alhamdulillah. Even though they didn't cover the head normally, always, they covered the head at least while offering salah. It's a good sign. So when people go to Gulf countries, there they realize and they come to know that covering the head is not further for the salah to be accepted. And there are many people because they come from different parts of the world in the Gulf countries and they have different ways of practicing Islam. There is a hadith in which one of the sahabas, to show to the people that it's not further, he just put one piece of cloth from the shoulder down below the knee, and he prayed salah and it's accepted. So if you ask that is it fard to wear a cap or cover the head while offering salah, it's not a fard. But it is mustahab. So this is what they fail to realize, that it is mustahab. So why should you not do it? So when they come back from the Gulf countries and they come to know it is not a fard, they try and show the people that we have knowledge and they purposely don't cover the head. And now we find in the mosque about 25%, one third of them don't cover the head, which I feel is going away from the sunnah of the Prophet. These people, they fail to realize that if they ask the scholars of these Gulf countries, the top scholars, all of them, they cover the head. All of them, they cover the head. So just because it's like lack of knowledge is dangerous. Just because, fine, salah will be accepted, but it is mustahab. And according to Sheikh Nasrud Albani, he says that covering the head is mustahab and praying bareheaded is makro. And he says that the hadith of Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, what he narrates about Prophet Muhammad that he kept his cap as a sutra in front of him while offering salah. It's a daif hadith. It's not authentic. And some of the scholars, especially from Egypt, they have given the fatwa that, you know, because 
in ihram when you're performing hajj or doing umrah, you don't cover your head and the salah is accepted, therefore covering the head is not the criteria for offering salah. If you read the hadith of the Prophet Wasallam, never did the Prophet left his head uncovered while praying except in ihram, except for performing hajj or umrah where the Prophet didn't cover his head. All other times he had his head covered. The reason that during Umrah, while in Ahram, the head wasn't covered is because it is haram to cover the head. Many things which are mustab are haram during the state of Ahram. If you say that because in Hajj you don't cover the head, that it's a rule that you should not cover the head in Salah, it's totally wrong. There are many things which are mustab. For example, cutting the nails is mustab in the normal day to day life. But in Ahram, it is haram. Similarly, covering the head is mustab, but in Ahram only it's haram. So giving this logic is totally wrong. In Ahram, you don't have to cover that because it's not allowed. It's violating the rules of Ahram. But otherwise, you should cover the head. And if people are at least covering while offering Salah, they should continue. They will get Sawab. And that's what all the four Aymas said. Even Sheikh Nasir al-Bani, Ibn Taymiyyah, Sheikh bin Baz, and all the scholars. And Imam Malik said that from the time of Islam till today, always, the scholars and the sahabas and the salafis all in the covered head and they wore a turban. You know, whether they were a turban or a kufi, etc. So I encourage that the Muslim should cover the head. It's one of the recommended acts of the Prophet.